I built another sprite sheet with the beautiful graphics from Overcrafted, which I downloaded from opengameart.org. This is a jump animation sequence for mobile games using Flame. I'm going to publish or save the files to the assets folder of my Flutter project. Once the sprite sheet is saved to my local Flutter project, I'm going to move the PNG file, jump.png, from the assets folder to assets slash images. Run Flutter pub get again to make sure that the Flutter system can find your new tile set image. Within the main dot dart file, let's create another variable for the sprite animation. Um, I think I should probably call it jump anim. I actually change it later from kick anim to jump anim. It's probably more, uh, even though it is a kick flip trick, it's a little bit easier to understand if we just call it the jump animation. So copy the idle, idle animation and change the uh, file, the tile set file to jump.png idle.json and let's go ahead and change the actual variable name here and I'll go up and when we declare it we'll uh, change it into jump animation as a late declaration. Now we need to start the animation and change it from the whatever animation it's on. For example, the either the push or the ride animation. Similar to the push animation where she has her foot on the ground, we're going to trigger the jump animation by a tap on the game screen. When they tap on the top of the screen, it's a jump. So we'll change the lena.animation property. So the anim that word animation is from is built into this sprite animation component and we'll assign that to jump anim, which is the variable that we created and we just set it up with the sprite sheet. I'll set up again as a future delayed, so 1.2. Not getting a very satisfying jump kickflip. Let's go back into Lena, and when the x velocity is equal to zero and is not on the ground, then we'll set the idle animation. Hopefully, now this will free up Lena in order to do the kickflip. She still can't kickflip. Let's see what happens here. Oh, she, she did a partial kickflip. Okay. There is a little bit more satisfaction with the kickflips that uh, she does appear to do the kickflip sometimes. Other times it's getting overridden by another animation. So let's test it a little bit more and see what's going on. I'm going to go inside of the code and look for a condition when she's on the ground. So Lena already has a Boolean variable to check to see when she's on the ground. So one thing I'll do is when she jumps, I'll make it so that she's not on the ground. That looks like a pretty good kickflip there. Oh, th there's some improvement here. Looks a lot better. Maybe that fixed it. Looks pretty good now. All right, so she hits the side of the wall or the side of the platform here the animation for the kickflip stops but i think this is what we want because if you think about it if you're doing a kickflip here and you hit the wall in the middle of the kickflip the board's going to uh, stop right so she has to completely clear the ledge
Subscribe to the channel for updates on the more than 50 videos I've made on Flame. The videos with source code are also available for free on Teachable, 100% free course. This is a hobby. In whatever way you choose to learn, make sure you have fun and unleash your creativity. Have a fantastic day.